Martin Truex Jr. is going to maintain the outside lane. He's got uh, Bubba Wallace. He's got Kyle Busch stacked up. One, two, three on the outside lane. Toyota Power. Oh, they're, tr- they're wrecking further back behind them. Blaney goes to the bottom. Three, four cars involved. Hard shot for William Byron. For Ross Chastain, the rest of them crash in front of Dave Moody. Garrett Smithley is also involved. He tags the outside retaining wall. Noah Gregson is tag- is torn up as well. Both Smithley and Gregson try to race their way in. Both of them with heavy damage. William Byron all torn apart, just limping down on the apron at the exit of turn two. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. The last thing you wanted to do with only four laps to go is wreck your primary race car, and we have wrecked a bunch. We'll cover that in a minute, but how big is this for the open teams with Gregson and Smithley involved? Grala at one point thinking there's no way I can make it. Now he just might because if David Reagan can beat those other two, then... Kaz is going to get a shot. He absolutely is. Garrett Smithley is continuing on, even though he's got sparks and smoke trailing from behind the car. The tires are flat. They're going to get to pit road and try to fix that race car up. But you're right. If David Reagan is the highest finishing open car, he'll race his way in, and then it'll fall back to the next fastest car from qualifying last night, and that'll be the car right now driven by Kaz Grala. Still a lot of racing to go in this one before we can know for sure. Well, taking a look at the replay, it's pretty simple. Garrett Smithley trying to race his way into the Daytona 500, got aggressive, came off the top of the racetrack, tried to stack Brad three wide, and he hooked Brad Keselowski, turned him into uh, Noah Gregson, and uh, it was on from there. We have torn up some race cars here late at night under the lights. <laughs> 